Now for this first part of the question, we're given the age T years and the weight W in grams of each of 10 coins. And we've got the data summarized in the summary statistics. And we've got to find STT and STW. Now to do this, you should be familiar with this particular formula. It normally is documented in most formula books, SXY. SXY is equal to sigma XY, the sum of XYs then, minus sigma X multiplied by sigma Y, all divided by N. And we can adapt this formula for STT, we're replacing the X and the Y with T's. So in other words, for STT, what we've got is sigma TT, or in other words, sigma T squared, and then minus sigma T multiplied by another sigma T. In other words, sigma T all squared, and that is divided by N. So we just need to put our values in now. So for sum of t squared, we've got 2688. And then for sigma t, we've got sigma t is 158. So we've got 158 all squared divided by n, n being the 10 coins. So if you work that out, you should find you get 191. 0.6, okay, exactly. So we'll just section this off. As I say, this is a formula that you should be aware of. And then from that, we can get all these kind of spin-offs of these particular ones, okay? So the next one up then is to work out STW. STW, so when I compare it to what we've got over here, Again, we've got the X is the T, and the Y is the W. So for STW, we're going to have sigma TW instead of that XY, and then minus sigma T, sigma W over N. So minus sigma T multiplied by sigma W all over N. And again, we just need to put our values in. Sigma TW up here at 1760.62 minus sigma T, 158. And that is being multiplied with sigma W, 111.75. And then that's all divided there by N, N being 10. And again, if you work this out, you find that you get minus 5.03, 5.03, okay? So hopefully you've been able to uh, follow that and that brings us now to the end of this particular part of the question.